Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. We are once again in my bedroom because I have new things that I've done that I would like to show you. So I hope you enjoy this video. Here is the window of my bedroom that I have closed the blind on because sunlight is sunny. I brought my Moody Arnhem upstairs because I just missed it so much and I couldn't stand to be without it. This is its newest leaf. It is very beautiful. We also have my Atabapa Wensi, my very sad looking Plowmanii, and my Painted Lady, all in this container. Do they like it? I don't know. Do I like it? I don't know. But I love this leaf. This is my Arabescence and Emerald Duke Philodendron Totem combo that I got and hauled for you oh, a few weeks ago now. And this is what I really came to show you. I have created a hydroponics wall. So it's a recirculating drip system in my bedroom. And I'm very excited about it. So let me take you through all of the features. Starting at the bottom here, we have an IKEA outdoor storage box. We, I looked for other boxes and this was the best one. Inside that box, I would show you, but there's plants on it. Inside that box, there is a 25 litre bucket. There is a pond pump and there are tubes. There's also pond liner in there just to catch any extra drippies, but pretty straightforward. Then we move up slowly, we have eight vertical wall, ha, what are they, pots that I just got from Bunnings. And what I did was I used silicon sealant, like the bathroom sealant, and covered up their little water reservoir catch trays. In some I did a better job than with others, but I was uh, too excited to probably worry too much about aesthetics. So I sealed them up so I wouldn't have any water escaping. And then what I did is I drilled drainage holes. So we've got one, two, three, four, right at the front here. That was wet. And if you look, these guys lean on a very slight angle, so all the water runs to the front here and drips from the tray above into the tray below. My bottom ones, though, have one large hole and a poly pipe connected to the tray, and then that feeds into the bucket, hence the recirculating. We've just used bolts and ply to build the frame. It is not attached to the wall. It is freestanding because we rent and we didn't want to wreck the wall. We have more poly pipe running up to the top. And if you can see that, there is plastic where the little irrigation drippers are to protect the wall and the wood from the irrigation. I have my little hygrometer here. It is currently 25-ish degrees and about 55% humidity, which is pretty cool. I brought my humidifier in here from the greenhouse because I brought my varicosum in here from the greenhouse because look at that leaf. It is so beautiful. I just couldn't leave it down there. I just had to bring it up with me. 
what else can I show you? It's, there have been some growing pains. This pothos is not liking things, but also it's a pothos, so I don't really care. I have an aglaonema in perlite. I've got just a dwarf umbrella tree doing whatever it does, not focusing. There you go. I have a Dachidia seeds. I brought my lightly variegated Monstera up here too so that I could look at it because it's beautiful and I love it. It's also in Lekka now. More seeds, more seeds, more seeds. I made a terrarium. I'm very proud of myself. This is the first terrarium I've ever made and I can't open it so I'm not going to. It has ferns and a thing and another thing in it. So let's see if that dies. And that's it. This is a grow light. Again, Ikea grow light, Ikea bring your grow lights back. But I just wanted to give you a quick trip around the plants in my bedroom. The Red Wings has a new pole now that Freya climbs because she's the worst and I really wanted to show you this system. I hope you like it. If you want to know more about, if you have any questions about the hydro wall, put them in the comments below, let me know and I'll do my best to answer them. I am by no means a hydroponics expert. I am still just using the Bunnings hydro nutrients and pH up down things, which I don't know. I don't think that's the best and I'm going to look into alternatives. If you use hydroponics and you have suggestions, please let me know. That would be fantastically brilliant. Otherwise, I hope you have a fantastic day. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.